Hey friends, I'm back and I'm going to be going over some of the makeup that I got whenever I went to Dallas a couple of weeks ago. I've been wanting to make this video for like two weeks now and I just haven't had the time and sometimes when I get home from work I take off my makeup and then I'm like crap I wanted to do a video so today I'm just you know gonna do it and it's gonna be done. So um, I posted an Instagram picture first of all today of my dirty hair and I had a lot of people ask about how I did it which is really funny um, because it is kind of messy looking to me but um, I don't like to wash my hair a lot just because I feel like it dries out your hair um, and it's very time consuming you know especially if you have thick hair like me so I probably wash my hair about three times a week um, I do shower every day but I use like a shower cap I know some people are really weird about that. They're like, oh my gosh, if you don't wash your hair, you don't shower. But you, there's a little thing called a shower cap that you can use. Um, or sometimes I'll just put my hair up in like a bun and take a shower and just not get it on my hair. So I have tried almost every dry shampoo that there is out there. Um, and recently I have discovered that good old baby powder is the best dry shampoo that I can use. So, um, I, there's no spray top or anything, it's just the, the regular baby powder, and I just sprinkle a little bit on the top. Well, I don't think it's open. Let me open it first. I just sprinkle a little bit on the top, and there we go. Kind of just like move it about with my hands, mix it in really good. And um, it seems to work way better than any dry shampoo that I have used in the past. So, I do that. Um, my roots they don't really get that oily um, at all so I just sprinkle a little bit of that on there and then what I'll do is I'll um, have a day where I just wear my hair straight and then like the preferably the next day is when I curl it and so I just have this old curling iron that is a Jaber de Paris um, I've had it for a long time I think it's an inch barrel and it doesn't even have a kickstand. It's uh, pretty old. So what I do is I take this top piece and I take a clip and I clip the top piece up. And so I'll just do this layer curling out, you know, each piece. Then I will let that top piece down and then do like three pieces on that top layer. And the way that I do it is, it's not on or anything, but like I curl away from the face. So I just go down like this, hold it, hold it, and then let it go. Um, and that's how I do the curls. And they just kind of fall out like this. There's, I don't really brush my hair um, to you know, make it smooth or anything. I just kind of let it go during the day. And then I'll periodically like poof my hair up like this. I'm sure it makes it look like a rat's nest in the back, but that's kind of how um, I get the volume. And with the baby powder, it seems to help it kind of want to stay up there. So that is how I achieve my dirty hair look, um, as I like to call it. And like I said, this curling iron is super old. I don't even know if they make it anymore. But it is um, a Jaber Paris Palladium ceramic and it's got the thick coarse settings and I always put it on coarse and then you just turn it on okay so I have been wanting to try Charlotte Tilbury makeup for a very long time but nowhere around here carries it so I didn't want to order stuff blindly online without you know knowing my color the correct color to order um, and kind of seeing it in person so when I was in Dallas a couple of weeks ago I needed new makeup and so I just went to town and let the girl at the Charlotte Tilbury counter kind of just do my makeup and um, I purchased some things after she did that so let's start with um, a lot of the Charlotte Tilbury things that I got so Charlotte Tilbury was um, one of the formulators or makeup artists that helped Tom Ford launch his makeup line. And she has always um, done makeup for Kate Moss and several supermodels and movie stars. 
And um, I think she just kind of wanted to go ahead and make her own line. And so she came out with her line and it's actually pretty affordable compared to other um, like designer makeup. So um, I would say the prices are comparable to some of the, the things that you can get at a Sephora. So I was pretty excited about the pricing. Um, what I do first, and I don't have the little pot in here, it's in my bedroom, but I use her Magic Cream. They gave me a big sample of it. And so the Magic Cream is what Charlotte calls like eight hours of sleep in a bottle or something like that. She formulated it to um, make the skin ready for makeup and to kind of give it a glowing, refreshing look like you had slept eight hours because um, she has to deal with supermodels that don't get a lot of sleep and that you know kind of live a, a hard lifestyle so that um, she wanted to formulate something that would kind of take that all away so that is the magic cream so I put that on first and um, I just use a sample that they gave me then there is another product that is called Wonder Glow and Wonder Glow is um, kind of a primer a makeup primer and they gave me a sample of that as well I really liked it. Um, it that combined with the magic cream or is her like duo um, effect of like the eight hours of sleep so I like the Wonder Glow I ran out of my sample um, I'm not sure if I would buy it again I'm not really I mean I, I don't think that it made that much of a difference to where I would go buy the Wonder Glow but I love the magic cream so I will probably re purchase that once my sample runs out. Um, next, I take this Light Wonder Foundation and I got it in number two, Fair. And this is a very lightweight, airy, kind of um, almost like a tinted moisturizer. And you don't need much at all. So I barely squeeze out a little, I don't know, pea-sized amount seriously and it, it kind of spreads pretty um, evenly and you just kind of take it and put it on both cheeks and then your forehead so uh, once I blend that all in I'll then take her concealer which is one of my favorite items that I purchased and it is called the retoucher conceal and treat stick and this um, she wanted to give like an airbrush photoshopping effect to the under eye area. So she took it to her scientists and said, I want something that's gonna make it look like when they Photoshop under people's eyes. Like that's what I want. So the Retoucher Conceal and Treat Stick is a brush stick and it kind of looks like the YSL Touche Clot. The formula is great. It really works well for under eye circles, dark circles, and then even like zits, you know, you can conceal them as well with it. I love this concealer. It's awesome. So I would definitely repurchase this. Um, okay, the next thing that I put on after that is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. And it's just a loose powder, or not a loose powder, a pressed powder, um, that kind of gives more of like an airbrush effect. After that, this is one of my favorite items from her line. It is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow Face Sculpt and Highlight. So this is like a contouring duo that's going to have one side for the sculpting and one side for the highlighting. So I take just a um, little kind of like an angled blush brush with the sculpt and I do right here, right here, and like around your forehead. And then I take the highlight and do the apples of my cheeks down the bridge of the nose and just kind of around here and kind of all over the face. This is awesome. I would highly recommend this. It really gives you like a glowing look and it also kind of contours at the same time. Um, as far as price is concerned, I think that the foundation was maybe like 30 $35. Everything is like around $30 to $40. So it really wasn't um, all that bad. Especially when you think of like some of those Giorgio Armani foundations that are like $60 now. Which is insane. And then I think the most expensive was this duo. And I can't remember how much it was. Maybe like $50 something. Um, let me see if I'm forgetting anything. Oh, and I also got her Feline Flick Eyeliner. 
um, quick, quick fine line pen. And so it's kind of one of those Sharpie pen eyeliner deals. Um, I did use it today and I like it. It's just honestly not that different than the Kat Von D one or even like any other Sharpie eyeliner pen out there. Um, so it was, I think like 20 something dollars. And I really think that is all of the Charlotte Tilbury stuff that I got that I wanted to talk about. Um, I believe that's it. So yeah, I love all the stuff. It all has um, a really good scent. It kind of all kind of smells like roses for some reason to me. So um, I'm obsessed with roses, so I love that scent. And I just really like the line and the story behind each product and how, you know, she has done Kate Moss's makeup and different, you know, movie stars and supermodels. So overall, I'm very pleased with the line. Highly recommend it. And I'll put the links below to all of the stuff that I talked about. Okay, so while I was at Neiman Marcus in Dallas, I went ahead and got another Beredo perfume. Um, I think maybe I've shown you all that I have the Beredo Mojave Ghost. I got that in Las Vegas um, a couple of trips ago for work. And then I got the Beredo, which one? I can't even remember, I have another one in there. Um, and so when I was in Dallas, I wanted to smell some different ones and find a new one. So I ended up getting Black Saffron in Dallas. Um, at that time, I really liked it. And I know that I've told you all that sometimes I'll get a perfume and some you might even see me selling a perfume on my Instagram or something and be like why is she selling that perfume well what happens is I get perfumes because I like them at the time and then a couple of days will pass and then I'll be like that is rank why did I buy that um, black saffron smells great I really like it but it was kind of on the verge of like giving me a headache so I was like why did I buy this fortunately my friend Shasta that went to Dallas with me really liked the black saffron so she bought it for me you know issue resolved and I'm actually I actually bought um, one of the samples that he made for me the ball de Afrique uh, he made me a sample of this and the more and more that I wore it I was like that's the one that I want to buy so I guess the story lesson learned here is to maybe not impulse buy perfume and you should just get samples, wear them for a few days, see if you like the scent, then buy the perfume because I will always impulse buy perfume. I'm like, oh, that smells so good. I want it now. Give it to me now. And then a few days later, I will hate it. So that always happens to me. So um, Sean, the guy at Neiman Marcus, the Beredo specialist, made me a sample of the Baldi Freak and then the Gypsy Water, both of which I didn't like at the counter, but as I wore the samples, loved them. So um, I went ahead and ordered the Baldi Freak and then the Gypsy Water, this sample is actually pretty big, so it'll probably last me a little while, so I won't order this one, you know until maybe when I decide that I want it. But, um, I mean, I, I just love perfume. I know it's like such a pointless purchase, really, because if you think about it, um, expensive perfume is kind of dumb. Like, can't you just go get some Bath & Body Works body spray? I mean, really, like, some of them are like $12, but of course, the perfume that I tend to like and the scents that I like are always expensive. I don't know why. I wish that I could just go and like Moonlight Walk or whatever cucumber melon that I used to get from Bath and Body Works when I was in like the seventh grade, but um, I just really like unique and um, different scents. So. Um, I would highly recommend the Beredo line as well as the Frederick Mall um, Editions line. And I smelled one of those in Dallas as well, the Carnal Flower. And I think I talked about that in a couple of other videos. So um, I reaffirmed my love for Carnal Flower. So I'm currently um, watching one of those on eBay because they're so expensive and I just don't want to spend that much money on perfume. So of course I'm trying to find a bargain and I'm going to get it on eBay. 
Um, I think that's all that I had to talk about today. Hopefully you all enjoyed. I know a lot of people were curious about the Charlotte Tilbury makeup, so I'm glad to have done a video on that, and hopefully um, some of you all can give it a try and let me know what you think. All right, bye-bye.